Next up in the SEC East, we have Kentucky, a team pretty familiar to me. Grew up spending a lot of time in Lexington. My uh, my grandma actually lived there. So a lot of visits to Lexington, a lot of familiarity with uh, UK and what that school has to offer. They're, they recruit Ohio a ton and, and Stoops, he loves to hit Ohio in the recruiting trail. So we'll see uh, this year, a lot of changes, especially at the quarterback position with Will Levis out um, and Devin Leary coming in from NC State. Uh, we'll see what they have to offer us this year. I Still, I haven't seen much in the offseason for them bringing in some dynamic talent on the outside, which is kind of what they were lacking on last year's roster as well. And, and it's kind of what they they always tend to lack um, since Mark Stoops has brought this team uh, into bowl game contention every single year. Kind of the, the big thing that sticks out for me with this Kentucky team is how bad their special teams were last year. They lost games on field goals, kickoffs, like all types of troubles in the special teams. Stu Mark Stoops actually went out and, and hired one of his brother, Bob Stoops, his old um, special teams coordinators, Jay Bulware, uh, to, to kind of clean it up. And then he brought in a ton of guys to, to help clean up that. So hopefully that won't be as big of an issue. And I mean, as you know, that's the kind of things that can lose you games and make a, a nine and three team, a seven and five team, or, you know, a, just winning those special teams battles and, and not making the mistakes. The other thing that, that I like about Kentucky is they brought in Devin Leary with kind of like a, a microwave ready to go offense. It's not going to need a lot of massaging. One, he's an excellent decision maker at NC State. He's been, you know, at the top of leaderboards with QBR uh, completion percentage and things like that. So he's, you know, great player, great professional. He's from all accounts, a really good leader for that uh, Wolfpack team. Two of the new guys from last year were kind of led the receivers room and Dane Key and Barry and Brown were both kind of dynamic freshman playmakers for them. And they're both back. They've got a lot of talent at the tight end position. Uh, really, I just expect this, this offense to be really smooth and steady. Um, defensively, I think they may have a couple more questions than, than what they have on offense. And offense, I think they kind of took their lumps last year. And I think they're going to be pretty much ready to go this season. Yeah, I think the one question on for the offense, I think, is going to be that offensive line. Um, and then, like I said, can those guys on the outside be dynamic in the SEC and against the schedule that they're going to play? That's, I mean, that's the tough part. But with that being said, I think I think Mark Stoops has a really good chance to take this team. This this team isn't going to be at the bottom of this division anymore. Uh, they're they're going to be somewhere in this three, four, maybe five range, um, pretty consistently now. Um, and I think that they'll compete. They're going to give some guys some good games. They're not going to, they're not going to go in and get blown out uh, by some of these better teams on their schedule. They're going to go in and they're going to play a tough game. Um, and I, I especially think if they get that special teams uh, cleaned up, that's going to make these games even closer because special teams is 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 key in making average teams good and good teams great. So. For sure. Yeah, for me, I see Kentucky. Uh, good season, not great. Um, you know, in the seven and five, eight and four, maybe they could stretch and, and hit nine and three if they beat somebody they're not supposed to. But but yeah, I, I think they'll have a good year. Um, hopefully they'll be um, ready to hand off the, the team to a, another new quarterback next year. And they'll they'll give them kind of a similar situation, but kind of touch on my thoughts on Devin Leary. I think the physical profile and the arm talent maybe isn't to the same level as they had with Will Levis last year, but dramatically improved in the decision making department, the leadership department. Um, I, I think they'll see a lot more um, success offensively with Devin Leary, even though he may not be able to make all the same throws. Yeah, I mean, Will Levis is supremely talented, but he, he didn't necessarily utilize it or show it all that much at Kentucky. And I, I think he'll probably get better on average quarterback play this year than last.